Hey, the feather, um, just when you think it's getting twisted and disturbing, then, um, it changes and there's a, there's a light, um, like that Justin Bieber song, act like you know that you are, like how, how I changed the R, like you can, you can change the whole meaning of what's going on, so her is like, um, bitter and everything. So, um, and that's not the only meaning of her, but, um, I'm looking at that Pinterest again and the, the feathers on the bow or what look like kind of feathers. And then, um, and then the pack that's on the waist, um, or two packs, um, looking at it a little bit closer, uh, you know, don't fold the maps, um, which, you know, you can trace him back to Ferris Bueller and speed um, and kind of how he acts in both those is the relationship of the her character to the Norway character, you know, and like or Viking and all that stuff and going back to um, the garden. So, um, so, so you have... Uh, uh, you, you have that whole relationship of Twister and like the dog at the beginning of Twister and everything. And then, um, and, and the ending of Twister, like the, the Cyrus gates at the end of Twister, like the pipes and everything. Um, and then, um, uh, you know, just the whole relationship there. It's, it's all like comparable, like it's all mixing of everything because then you have the baggy pants as well. And, um, that represents kind of, um, like my spring break on my junior year. Um, the, all the guys were wearing like tight clothing. And I actually bought when I was there, this, um, kind of nineties looking clothing. And like, they said some stuff about that. And, you know, <laughs> I, I was like, well, that's just, that's just what I want to want to wear, you know? So, um, and it's the pants, you know, and that kind of goes with, um, at the beginning of Terminator one, um, Kyle Reese doesn't have his pants or, or, or excuse me, he, he takes the guy's pants, the homeless guy. And that kind of represents, um, the whole relationship of Sarah Connor to, uh, Kyle Reese, how, it's like the end of the world and they're having a relationship, you know, um, or <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> it's like they, they have to do everything for the end times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but it operates in an end of the world setting because he has to go back, you know, um, and he, and he has to defeat the, the Terminator, but he kind of knows that he'll get, he'll, he won't survive. So there's that whole relationship and you know how deep that goes with the Terminator stuff. So, um, and then, um, the scarf or whatever that is at the top kind of represents the, to me, that's always like meet the parents, the turtleneck, you know, how, um, you like, you can't say the right thing sort of, or something like that, but like, um, it, but in this sense here, the way it kind of looks is like, uh, um, it's almost stylish or something like, I don't like it represents the, having the style through the winter of it all, like through the, through the battle, having your own style and even though everything's going wrong and being blamed on you or something. And like that goes along with relationships as well. So, um, for both sides, for, for both, you know, um, he's got it on the neck and that, <coughs> you know, for me, the neck is important because that represents like, um, um, sacrifice and balancing stuff, the force and everything with that. So, um, um, just wanted to point some, some other things out with that, um, Pinterest thing. Um, so keep faith with Lord Jesus. And, uh, 
Th this can be done for all creatures, okay? This isn't just the, the one. I, I'm just pointing out the one, but um, this can be done for all. And um, so kind of uh, the, the one with the acid rain and the wave, I think kind of looks like um, you can kind of interpret that as the um, tattoos on Maui and Moana. You know, they kind of like move because it's like a wave or something. So like some, some are open to my afterthoughts and interpretation as well. And hopefully, you know, Jeremy will account for all that. And, <coughs> um, you know, God will account for all that for however the end times goes down. So, um, and it, it may be that, all of my writings um, are for gateways. That's a possibility as well. Um, I, you know, I, I would like to think that it's more than that, but the the whole thing with uh, the rod of iron, you know, being the shepherds, um, and that the the morning star is different in that, uh, the, or the one who gets the morning star, like it's it's kind of the way I was shown was like, he kind of operates as Remy LeBeau. Like he's neither the wolf nor the vampire. So his writings are showing the different way. Um, so just some thoughts, but, uh, thank you.